A large number of problems can be expressed as optimization problems in such fields as engineering, economics, and machine learning. The idea of optimization problem is very simple. They minimize or maximize an objective function under some constraints that are expressed in mathematical formula. However, in real problems, the number of objective functions is not necessarily only one. We always hope to maximize money, hope to minimize body weight, and hope to maximize free time in enjoying YouTube. Human beings constantly have several objective functions to optimize. That's why we should study multi-objective optimization. In this video, I'll explain a type of solution of multi-objective optimization, which is called as descent methods. Hey everyone, what's happening? Now I'll introduce how to solve multi-objective optimization problems. First, let's define multi-objective optimization. Multi-objective optimization is literally the problem that have several objective functions. For instance, suppose we minimize m objective functions named f1 blah 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 fm. Then we can define the multi-objective optimization problem as in the display. f is a vector valued function defined by f1 blah 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 fm and it is called the objective function of the multi-objective optimization problem. Also, we call large S the constraint set. Okay, we've gotten the formulation of multi-object optimization problem, but this formulation is a little ambiguous. Specifically, the operator minimize is ambiguous. This is because generally there does not exist a single solution that minimizes all objective functions in multi-object optimization problem. So, a multi-object optimization problem doesn't have unique solution. Then what does the minimize operator mean? To answer this question, we need to redefine the optimality for multi-object optimization. The optimality in multi-object optimization is called Pareto optimality. In order to understand Pareto optimality, let's take a very simple example. Assume Alice and Bob in a closed room. They haven't been drinking water since yesterday and they are very thirsty. Suddenly, they've found a hundred milliliters of water in the room. They both wanna drink as much water as possible. This situation can be considered as a multi-object optimization in a sense. Now, suppose Alice will drink x1 milliliters of water and Bob will drink x2 milliliters of water. Let's define a vector x equals to a pair of x1 and x2. Also, we write something like a happiness function of Alice and Bob by f1 and f2 of x, respectively. Then we get a multi-object optimization problem, as in the display. The first constraint means there is only 100 milliliters of water, and the second one means they cannot drink negative amount of water. Now let's illustrate this problem. The colored area in this graph represents the constraint set of the problem. For simplicity, assume that f1 of x equals to x1 and f2 of x equals to x2. Then this graph shows the feasible values of f1 and f2. Then what point in this graph maximizing f1 and f2? The green point? Or the orange point? If you choose orange point, Alice can drink more water than green point, but instead, the amount of water Bob can drink decreases from green point. We call this type of relationship a trade-off. In fact, Pareto optimality is the concept that represents a trade-off relationship. Now, I show you the definition of Pareto optimality. Pareto optimality is defined as this. Note that this definition is for the maximization problem, so for minimization problem, reverse the inequality. As you see, Pareto optimality means that there doesn't exist any other point that has better objective value. There are which points are Pareto optimal in the previous example. In this graph, the points on this orange line are Pareto optimal. Just think for a moment, and you find that any two points on the orange line are trade-off. So, the points on the orange line satisfy the definition of Pareto optimality. Anyway, multi-object optimization problem is intended to get Pareto optimal solutions. 
Next, I'll tell you how to solve multi-object optimization. In this video, I'll explain some types of multi-objective descent method. Multi-objective descent method is an extension of method for single objective optimization. Now I'll show you two extensions of single objective algorithms. First, I'll explain steepest descent method. Steepest descent method is one of the most major algorithms for differentiable single objective optimization problems. This algorithm chooses a search direction dk as a gradient descent direction and refreshes xk by using an appropriate step size alpha k. Note that the subproblem defining dk is minimizing the first order approximation of f of xk plus d minus f of xk. Next, extension of steepest descent method for multi object optimization can be written as this. By taking a maximal width effect to i, it makes each dk a descent direction for all objective functions. Next, I'll explain proximal gradient methods. Proximal gradient method is used for the problem whose objective function is the sum of differentiable and convex functions. Differently from speedfest descent method, it considers first order approximation only for differentiable part f. If g equals to zero, then this algorithm coincides with steepest descent method. Okay, this is the multi-objective version. Similarly to the steepest descent method, dk is a descent direction due to the max function. Multi-objective steepest descent method and proximal gradient method are both shown to converge to Pareto solution under appropriate settings. For simplicity, I don't introduce the proof of the theorem but the proof is more complex than the proof in single objective cases. There are other multi objective descent methods such as Newton method, project gradient method, and so on. But many algorithms for single objective optimization haven't been extended for multi objective optimization yet. They are also expected to develop in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please check the references written in the video description. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Bye!